Hello guys and welcome to a video of Calabunga Weekly. Today I will be showing you how to take care of African pixie frog. So I will go and get my pixie frog this right This is him, Chewy, my African pixie frog. This is him, he's like a little baby and he's a little shy with a big camera in his face so don't judge him if he's trying to run anywhere. Pixie frogs are one of the largest frogs in the frog species other than the goliath frog which has longer legs than the pixie frog. So what I feed my pixie frog is, he's right here, what I feed him is, whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's why I said don't judge him if he tries running away. Okay, so, whoa! Oh my god, oh my, you just jumped out. just climbed your lid and flew out. Gosh. You're a little jumpy frog. So yes, he did just jump out of his cage and I can just see him swimming right now. So I'll show you that this right now. temporary cage. I would take him out, but I'm scared he's gonna jump away when I try showing him. So I'm just gonna leave him in here for now until he chills. Okay, out. so before he jumped out of his little temporary cage, I was going to say, so what I feed him is crickets. I did feed him mealworms, but then I realized that they have a hard exoskeleton for them to digest. So I'm going to try out dubia roaches and superworms because I heard that superworms have easier exoskeletons for them to digest. So a pixie frog can be the size of a football or a dinner plate. I've been reading a lot and mine doesn't like water but I he likes to swim in it sometimes. He likes dirt m mostly. But, um, he likes to hide around and hide in plants and all that. So, yeah. It's, it's okay, fun. Now that I have him under control, I can show you what I put okay, in his so tank. so now I will show you what his tank looks like and what you need in Tank. He has a pretty basic tank with basic decorations. He has some plants. Um, he has his water dish. I just got this today. It's like a little thing for him to go inside of it. He's still not used to it, so he has to get used to it. And um, I like those pictures. Um, I have eco -earth. And I also have sphagnum moss. And I mix those eco earth and sphagnum moss together and it made like this. And I'm pretty sure he likes it, so yeah, his tank is so pretty. You're cool. probably wondering what is that thing with the tube in water? And I'll show you that so right now. This is a reptifogger, it is for humidity and it helps keep your tank moist. I found it around $60, I'm pretty sure, and it helps him keep his tank like moist and all that, and I, I really like it, so yeah, you should probably this check it optional, out. optional, but it also helps um, your frog shed, and I've been seeing like shed um, around the tank, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's working, so I'm happy, so. Yeah. So my frog just went to the bathroom, I can see, um, and I just figured out that uh, water soaking your frog helps them, like, get all that, just helps them go to the bathroom, like, it, so I'm happy that he went to the bathroom because he hasn't been going to the bathroom, so. Yeah, I'm good with that. I also put another little hill of moss because, um, if you don't know, frogs absorb water and all liquids through their skin. So that's why I put like a little hill of um, moss so he doesn't absorb too much water. So, yeah. so I powder my crickets and insects that I feed him with. Um, I powder them with Repta Calcium. Flunkers Repta Calcium 
And it works good because I've been seeing like him grow and he's been getting chubbier and chubbier. So, so you're yeah, probably wondering, do um, African pixie frogs, do they need heating lamps or UVB lamps? No, they don't, but you should maybe get a UVB lamp, um, but not a heat lamp because it might fry him or I, who knows what would happen. So maybe in the winter you could get a heating pad, but I wouldn't recommend a heating lamp. So yeah, try that. So um, pixie frogs, they live up to be 40 years. Um, if you If you take care of them, they'll live a long time so yeah just try to take care of them see if they need health checks or anything like that and make sure to soak them if they're not going to the bathroom so yeah and remember i'm just a beginner so who knows what could happen to my frog and just make sure to look out online and go look on youtube to see if you want um more info just go look online or anything really and make sure not to just look at my video and think oh I can do this oh mom can I get this frog oh I can do this I looked at this video just remember so I'm a in the past couple months I've had an other frog other than this chewy a boy I've had a girl and we've got her at a pet store but um at first, we didn't know if she was a he or a she, and we were just seeing like little changes, like she wasn't getting chubbier, or like it was just like, I don't know what was wrong with her, but um, yeah, she passed away, which was sad, like it was sad, but it's okay, like I got this one, it's good. So, um, pixie frogs, they are known to puff up when when they um are threatened so say if i was a predator chewy he would um puff up and like say oh you don't want to mess with me i'm i'm bigger than you and he would try making the predator run off so so yeah. pixie frogs are they are v really easy to take care of it's not like it's just an animal where you have to give it water and food and just leave it. No, you should probably give it some attention, like holding it or anything. And yeah, it's really easy to take care of. And don't hold it for too long because you remember what I said? Um, they absorb liquids and water um, through their skin. So since we have oil on our hands, they might absorb the oils and they potentially might die or they'll live they'll just feel sick or something maybe who knows or they might just Makes be fun. sure to hold it for about five to ten minutes um because like i said they absorb liquids and all that through their skin so be and make sure even if you have a little soap on your hands don't think that oh i can hold my frog it's perfectly fine no he won't absorb it or anything no make sure to wash all the soap off and since our house has chlorine in the water um, I have to make sure I dry my hands off like dry dry and um, I also put aqua safe I'll show you what that is um, I put it in his water so he'll be okay with the water so this is aqua safe um, the stuff that I use this is a brand new one um, I'm just gonna try it out but this one right here, this is the one that I always use and it's going empty. So I'm just trying to get a new one. So yeah, try maybe one of so, these. So yes, that is the video of my African pixie frog or African bullfrog. Um, they're easy animals to take care of. And you should maybe recommend getting one if you did all your research and all that. So, also, yeah. um, make sure to check out my channel, Calabunga, um, Cooking. I'll put in the link in the description. And, um, I don't know if you can comment. I'll try putting the comments on if they're not already. So, yeah, I'll do that. And make sure to, to subscribe to this channel. Okay, bye.